All right, guys, we're back, and whew, we cut down from 28 to 24 lands, and this is what happens. So I draw a new one there. That one's not awful. He plays first. We can keep that, I guess. We should be able to keep that. That shouldn't be a problem. He's a sliver hive lord, so I'm guessing we're playing slivers. Yeah, we are playing slivers. So... Let's drop the Dire Glass there, and then next turn we'll Gravecrawler and hopefully not have to Vampire Tutor for a land. <laughs> hopefully. But the third land is very, very important for us because that gets us our sustain against said scary slivers. Um, I'm going to Vampire Tutor for a land. That's why it's in here, though, is, I mean, it's a mana fix if it is absolutely and utterly necessary. So, what was on top? Undead Warchief, land, land. So let's get that land. We know we have a land on top now. We can hit him for two. Hilly can play something. We'll play the Flesh Bag Marauder. He'll sack a dude. I'll sack my Grave Crawler. And the world will just be a great, wonderful place. Or he could just not play anything. And we'll play the, uh, or the undead instead. That works as well. Seems really solid to me. Especially since we have a Doomblade and a Frostbrag Marauder and a Tendrils, if we can actually get it. Oh. But no, I figured, I looked into some of the settings, and uh, you can switch your title. That's why people had the Annihilator and stuff, and the Sliver Hive Lord. And I changed my picture, finally, to something other than the little guy with the white face thingy. I don't know what you want to call it, but that thing. Zombies greater than Slivers. I don't ever look at chat. So, Beth, if any of you guys ever talk to me in-game, I don't ever look at chat. I'm sorry. It needs to be like a little pop-up notification. It's like, one, new message. Oh, I'm hive-stirring. That works. I mean, not well, but it does something, at least. Attack, attack. Yes, I would love to grab my fourth mana. And we'll do play one of those guys. Not really worth it, but you know, it keeps my dude alive. got so many things that we can do but I just welcome the sliver that gets played this turn because we can just if no sliver we have that if sliver we have that if sliver I don't like I have that it's a 2-2 two -two hasty sliver do I care about it that much I mean why not let's get rid of that sliver I will sack my grave crawler Gravecrawler, I will play. And then we'll get in for two. And that would have played out the same way had I attacked. That's why I decided to do that first. Because if I would have attacked, he would have blocked this guy. And I would have played the Marauder. Or wouldn't have played the Marauder, I would have played this Warchief, and I would have only had the Warchief and him out. So this actually gets me a little bit, actually about the same amount of power. I actually think one more power out. That was my logic behind it, at least. Whether or not that was correct, I think it was an okay play. It's so weak. I love the Sliver. 
but it's so weak because I just do this and he's at one life So like he's got to drop a team of slivers next turn to stay alive. It's got to be a hive stirring and something else. Hive stirring and a first strike sliver, but even then, like, that's just with the board state as it is currently. Okay. See, I should do my YouTube plug here and be like, well, I do deck analysis on YouTube. If you want to take a look at the Sliver deck, I have one up. I changed it ever so slightly. I added the Thorncasters. I tried to work, it, work in like one or two of them because they are really good. But like, eh. It's just iffy. It's a very iffy deck without having the Shocklands. Well, the Shocklands make it playable. But we need two more unlocks, and we've got it all. And I think this is the only card in it currently that I don't want to play. It's the one that we just unlocked, and that's the one that does a whole bunch of extra nonsensical things, like whenever a non, whenever a creature I don't control dies, I get stuff. But all right, I was gonna say we'll come back in a minute, but he's here. Looks good to me. We play first, we'll keep it, and Grave Crawler. So I wonder what deck he's running this time. He's not Slivers anymore. Demir or Jace, one of the two. Let's see if there's a bear, it's Jace. Um. But there's no bear yet. Could very well be Jace still. That's what I'm thinking. You can kind of tell by the lands. I think they each have their own specific specific set of lands. Okay. He doesn't like his creature dying. Shouldn't like his creature dying. So that means I should be able to attack for two. That's the correct call. Normally. Boom. That works. Yeah, I think I may need to go up to 25 lands. I'm having a hard time hitting the 6th mana. Every game I've played since I went up to 20 or I went down to 24 from 28. I don't know why there were 28 lands in the deck. I have no idea why. It makes no sense to me. Cast him from the yard. Attack him with the 3-1. Because his illusions are a lot scarier than my 3-1, I feel like. So I'm okay with this trade. Makes him a 2-for-1. And I'm alright with that. Yep, that's fine. So I'm blood myself. Get another Grave Crawler out there. That was a good sign of blood. I liked it. I need to see some more land, though. For sure. Oh. Sigh. Hey, you got a 2 2 unblockable. I've got 2 2 unblockables. Because <laughs> if they die, they just come back. Every single time. Attack, attack. Okay. 
endless ranks of the undead. So now we start getting a ton of zombie tokens that just multiply turn after turn after turn after turn after turn. Just more and more and more and more and more. Is this guy a wizard? He's a human wizard, so my uh, big zombie reanimation spell actually kills him, which is awesome. I don't think he's a human illusion. I think he's an illusion warrior, yeah. Oh, humans. Creature type. So dumb. Never you cast a creature spell. There's a 4 4 illusion of flying until the end of the turn. I don't know if I like that. 3 mana for an enchantment that's not a blocker. Uh uh. Not a fan of that. It can never, ever block. What are we paused for? Hunt summon. That's a good call. See, I should do this for two. Discards two cards. I can afford to discard two cards. Yep. We're doing this for two. Let me get rid of the Vampiric Tutor and my Micaeus. I sack a creature. You sack a creature. I sack two lands, you sack two lands. And then I play every card next turn. <laughs> Mikaeus might be a bad call. Reanimating him. Because if he gets... Achaeus does not fly. Deals dam. Whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. Other non-human creatures you control get... So let's go Gravecrawler... Grave crawler. I could reanimate the flesh bag marauder. Does he have anything in his? Let me see what you've got in your graveyard. Now let's take your royal elemental. That's not what I wanted to do, but this just gains control. Target creature, okay. Land. Gain control. Yes, I wish to use that ability. Continue. Attack with all. If he plays a creature, I should be able to block. It's a close game. Just like I said, he's not a blocker. Ever. So I'll use your Jace's Phantasm to block for me. Uh, 
back with the team. Oh, that death cloud. That death cloud was sick. Did so much for us. It's a very risky game. Just all around. All around risque. Alright, one more card to unlock. I think we're just going to keep it in this video, see if we can do anything this game. Place first. I like it. Let's keep it. We're on the draw. We have a Sign in Blood. We have a Doom Blade. We have Diagraph Ghouls. We drew a land, which is awesome. Best thing we could draw off the top there for sure. We got Blood Gas. Though he's not a vampire, or he's not a zombie, he's a vampire for some reason. Ooh. That's jerkish. Since it's going to cost me three to Doom Blader. That sucks. Should definitely put an enchantment on her. Definitely put an enchantment on her. Or do that. That works as well. Three mana Doom Blade. R. Super annoying. Thalia's. Double Undead Warchief, though. Double Undead Warchief. That's all we have to say. Do some really stupid things this game. That is our goal. Yeah, the games that they go, they don't go turn one champion. They're a lot easier to deal with. These humans. The human deck. The white weenie human tech. Humans are such a terrible archetype. They should not exist as an archetype. I can deal with, like, humans here and there, but there should not be human decks. Like, Naya Blitz should not have existed. If you played Naya Blitz, I'm sorry for you. It's an awful, awful thing to do. But... I was never a fan of, uh... Nay, Blitz. Just was not exciting. I don't like any of the decks. Like, I don't like the Elf deck right now that, uh, is like 12 mana accelerators. And a. They play 12 mana excel, 4 or 12, 12 1 drop mana excels, Arc Druids, and, like, the whole spiel. And then. It's just, ugh, I don't like it. They, uh, their goal is to drop some big scary stuff, but... Yes, I wish to use that ability. Undead Warchief. Do I want to bring back Thalia? White creatures you control. Attack. I will say the reanimate if we need to next turn. If he decides to attack with both of his creatures. He did not. Okay. Attack with all. Bring the team. one or no we lose three it's power converted mana cost unfortunately I thought it was tower toughness get him down to two is what I need to do 
He's got a block here and there. Get him down to two. Kill him with the sign of blood. Attack with all, baby. He's got a block here, here. Where am I? Well, yeah, he's got a block there, there. Then sign of blood him. I love the sign of blood death. so good to execute people with sign and blood. <laughs> so I think that's all the cards unlocked so we'll go ahead and get the deck analysis for this guy ready and then we'll be back. See you guys later.